Good evening. I am Good Book. This is Photopedia the Yun. Here we study photography, enjoying music. Last time, we defined that, photograph is, drawing of picture. Today, let's see what the light in photograph is. Taking a picture seems playing with light. To find good light photographers make every effort, and run anywhere, and anytime with their cameras. The best light, to take pictures of the day is, just that of before or after, sunrise and sunset. When you take the picture with the fast lens in the darkest time before sunrise, you can capture the light of tearing deep darkness. Like the birth of a new life in the dark, we can see the powerful pain and the energy of birth. These photographs taken directly in the dark are completely different from, those made in with light film or color filters to make that look. You can have a natural experience with breathtaking, amazing colors. Surprised by the sharp light like the blade, a rooster crows, followed by birds twittering. Then, what is light? Light is electromagnetic radiation, within the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, that can be perceived by the human eye. In physics, the term light sometimes refers to electromagnetic radiation of any wavelength, whether visible or not. The study of light has shared the development and history of physics. Sir Isaac stated in 1675 that light is composed of corpuscles, which travel in straight line with a finite velocity and possess kinetic energy. Newton's theory was predominant for more than 100 years. But later, came the claim that, Light is a wave, not a particle. Eventually, the modern theory of quantum mechanics came to picture light, as lumps of light energy, in some sense both a particle and a wave. What is light? Yes, we still can't define it, in one word. Not even Albert Einstein, who made the most revolutionary discovery on light said, all the 50 years of conscious brooding have brought me, no closer to answer the question, what are like Quinta? Of course, today, every rascal thinks he knows the answer, but he is deluding himself. In the 4th century BC, there were two different views on thought, among the Greeks regarding the nature of vision, to see and to be seen. One, represented by Plato. How that sensitive thread-like rays are emitted from the eye, and that the objects perceived are touched by these rays. The other view, led by Aristotle. Taught that the objects themselves emitted the light rays, which meet the eye. Furthermore, he explained that, light is a movement between, objects and eyes. Aristotle indicates in his book on colors, as follows. Aristotle's arguments are in line with, modern scientific interpretation. Now let's narrow this story down, to the light of the picture. Let's look at the light issues, with shooting technique. In photography, 
Exposure is the amount of light per unit area, reaching a photographic film or electronic image sensor, as determined by shutter speed, lens aperture and scene luminance. As said at the last photo cafe, the world's first photograph was born after being exposed to light for 8 hours. Let's look at a view of the Boulevard du Temple, taken by the Duguerre in 1838 in Paris. The image shows a busy street. But because the exposure had to continue for several minutes, the moving traffic is not visible. In the early days, when photography was invented, it was impossible to take portraits. Sittings would have required about 15 minutes of rigid stillness, in blazing sunshine. Before the photography was discovered, only the rich could have portraits. But when photography was invented, not only the rich, but also many people wanted to take their faces. As the demand for portrait photography grew, photographers did their best to reduce long exposure times. As a result, Petzval lens as well as wet collodion process were developed one after another. The camera is amazing now. Even the athlete's splashing sweat comes alive. Long exposure photography often requires ND filter to reduce the amount of light entering the camera. In addition, what's important in shooting is to determine the direction of the light. Under the same light source, the softness of the light depends on where the photographer places the camera or object. If we look at the intensity of the shadows in the picture, we can see the difference. Depending on the direction of light, the emotions and feelings of the photographs are also very different. For example, most people are reluctant to call so-called backlight in portraits, but the characters in the photo emit more intensity in backlight. Photographers also know an inverse square law, that the intensity of light is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source of light. It relates to f-stops. Professional photographers, on the other hand, hasn't satisfied with only natural sunlight. They use artificial lighting to make soft light, hard light, and so on. <laughs> Photoshop is becoming more common, these days. In the old days, there was a great debate about the rejection of retouching. But nowadays, it was taken for granted to make pictures as well as to take pictures. What is the identity of the light? Is it simply reflected light from object, coming into my dark room, camera? Of course, it is scientifically right, as Aristotle said. But I think that, light is something like a soul, beyond simple matter. Let's remind the Plato's remarks. Light is emitted from the eye, and that the objects perceived are touched by these rays. He mentioned, noon bit. The glitter of one's eyes. Earlier, Plato presented the allegory of the cave. Plato described a group of people who have lived chained to the wall of a cave all of their lives, facing a blank wall. The people watch shadows projected on the wall from objects passing in front of a fire behind them, and give names to these shadows. The shadows are the prisoner's reality. Plato pointed out the foolishness of our human beings, who see the shadow of light in the dark, without seeing the truth. Is the light that Plato speaks of is idea or I, isn't it? It's I, who have a natural camera called I, but who can't see myself but others. A photographer might not be one who takes picture. He should be one who sees himself through object to be seen.